Well, thank you very much, Mr. Sina, for that. Mr. Goel, representing the tourism industry, you have a question. Uh, sir, uh, my understanding is that uh, this budget is for the rural sector and it's a great vision and I compliment on 160 airports which are going to be revived and also the... But if we keep taxing, you know, till GST comes, we are getting unfairly treated because our service, our tourism exports are being tax taxed, whereas physical exports are exempted from service tax. That is one. Secondly, ATF, although it may not directly affect us, but if you build these airports and there are no airlines flying to those airports, and I can name a few airports which millions of rupees have been spent, crores of rupees have been spent, and no airline flies there. So what we need to do, and out of the 2,000 members, about 40% are startups, and about 60% are SMEs in our, our industry. And we can create about 100 million jobs in 10 to 15 years because according to WTO, one out of every nine jobs are, that are going to be created are in, in the tourism sector. And the Prime Minister has talked about tourism from the Red Fort and everywhere. But actually, in this budget, also, tourism has got nothing. Not a word has been mentioned. So, wh what do you think? I mean, how are we going to create jobs in the rural areas if tourism is not going to be encouraged? No, about the tax issue, let me tell you, for the reject regional connectivity stations, what uh, Civil Aviation Ministry is trying to make a policy for, we have not increased the ATF. ATF is 14% for other, other places, but for regional connectivity stations, which uh, Civil Aviation Ministry has declared, we are not going to charge 14 percent, it will remain 8 percent, the duty on ATF. So that's one encouragement we are giving for those uh, new airports. The other yeah, I'll just add a philosophical point here. Very often when all of us interact with industry or with businesses, and of course, you know, I was a business person for 30 years before I came into this role, I, I like to remind everyone that we in government can only play a very, very limited role. All we can do is facilitate your businesses, support and get out of the way. Uh, when Honorable Prime Minister spoke at the Startup India uh, conference, uh, he gave a very inspiring speech, but he started off by saying, our job is to get out of the way. So it's really incumbent on you, if you think there are all these great jobs to be created, all these great businesses to be created, you have to do it, you tell us where things are getting in the way, you tell us where you're not finding it possible to compete globally, we'll do what we can. But what we can do relative to this is very, very limited. We can only play a facilitating role. You, we are just the empires and the groundsmen. You have to score the centuries and take the wickets.